my name is Konsorata Wajira Nyaga. I'm a peace and the farmer. He who works and then the help herself with what he has getting from the garden. I'm a mother of ten children. Also, I'm a widow. In my land, I grow the big part is of maize. The other small part is for beans. Triste en Arroyo Blanco porque puro trabajo. Yo me llamo Eva Cruz Santes. Ajá, tiene, bueno, tiene tiempo de que está. Nosotros no somos nativos de aquí. Nosotros venimos de por acá de Casones. Por ahí de Casones a un lado, de Poza Rica para allá. Tiene 25 años, de que 30 años de que llegamos aquí. Aquí crecieron mis hijos. Y mis hijos ya también se fueron al norte. Ya también tengo hijos allá. Ya nomás nosotros estamos con los abuelitos. Eso empezaron a sembrar ocho años consecutivos, año por año, año por año. Y el maicito, el frijol, es lo que no ha faltado ahorita. Pero pues la vida de uno ahora sí en el campo, todo el tiempo es de trabajo. Bara <laughs> Tiene la boca, corta, van a otra escuela, corta, van a cotis, son más importantes. En texto, texto, por ti, hoy les llamo Dios, Sorara, de Gorrivara, que hay alix y de eso. ¿Qué es lo que se ha hecho? ¿Qué es lo que se ha hecho? ¿Qué es lo que se ha Um, Father Vincent Eureri, uh, the development coordinator of the Diocese of Embu, Kenya. In our population, maize is one of the staple food is actually any family that has no maize has no food and anytime even when we say as a country we have no food or there's famine the implication is that there's no maize maize is important to me because it's the one which we eat mostly we eat maize because as if it's in the morning we cook porridge, this maize, ugari, that's because stiff porridge is maize. It gets very rich, you do usually cook with maize. Maize is the most important stable food of Hilirigan of Nepal, and this is mostly uh, used as food so that uh, this is uh, important for the food security. Right. Myself, I am Ram Bahadur Katual. Intercropping condition, this millet, uh, millet, and this millet do not hamper for maize seed production also. Mm -hmm. I'm eight to nine years involved in this maize program, and most of uh, most of the farmers they are, uh, they they don't have food sufficient for twelve months. She is not very rich. She has uh, food uh, sufficient only for nine ten months. Right here in Embu and in particular in Berenbere where we are working, which is a kind of semi-arid area, 56% uh, of the population live below poverty line, while in Embu here is about 53. 
you know, if you if you don't have enough food, you must be hungry. Yes, if if you have a very little, you must be hungry. You see, if you don't have something to plant like this time, because you do not keep the the, the seed, you can be hungry. Pero como nosotros, nada más sembramos para el consumo de la casa. Pues ahora sí, como le digo yo, no nos conviene vender elotes. Lo poco que salga es para el consumo de los de la casa por los animalitos que tenemos. Ahora para ir comiendo, porque la mera verdad, maíz, tortilla de maíz de esa comprado como que no. No llena. Siempre lo sacaban así con mazorca pelada, como ver gracias a esto. Pero no dura el maíz, se pica. Y no le echa uno el polvo, o lo saca uno, como ve gracias a esto, no dura. Se pica. Luego, luego se apolilla la mazorca. Y ya no sale ni para comer. Uh, the major problems in local maize variety are lodging. That means uh, fall down. Uh, in the ground um, and uh, it creates the rotting problem of maize ears. Uh, similarly, while selecting technology, uh, the farmers they have certain very important criteria. They, they want uh, the variety which is suitable for their existing cropping system uh, that uh, allow to intercrop and relay crop and the other major uh, important or valuable intercrops also. And the stover is very important for their cattle so that uh, sometimes they select such kind of variety which have stay green characteristics. In the rural areas which, is, which forms better district, it is semi-arid, arid and semi-arid. Again, when the rains are not enough and it is frequently so, then there is sometimes crop varia. That is why, as the diocese, we are also promoting the arid maturing uh, dry land crops, like now recently the QPM, um, which is recently introduced in the region. We are busy promoting the crop now. So with the introduction of quality protein maize, then we are sure we are going to improve the nutritional status of the population. There is a difference when I say that the maize, those who we have branding before, the earlier, and this one of, you call it K, KPM, QPM, that one is so good because even if you look them like that one, like this, if you keep them here, you can see it's a good crop. And if you, when you plant it, it is also good. That's the why. And it, is, it doesn't have those, those diseases like the other ones of before. From when we, we started planting that, that maize, me and get more maize and more bugs. And I sell in a very high class because like this season, I earned that in bags. And this is because of school, I could have kept them here. But because it's my cash crop, I must sell it and send the children to school. Because even I harvest more, more than a year. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. We can uh, judge and we can uh, interact and we can find problems and we can uh, do work with together and uh, uh, how can we improve their livelihood, uh, we, we should think and so it's nice. Ramrakotelakiana, <laughs> Kikomolaki, 
भाई उद्देश्य पढ़ा को y no hay como el maicito este, te haces unas tortillas, unas gorditas y bien lleno. Al rato vuelves a comer y otra vez bien lleno. If I miss maize, I, I feel mm, as if I, I'm rushing somehow. Maize is good. Maize is my favorite thing. And I like it.